Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We're going to get into a mailbag on today's video, which means we're answering questions from subscribers. So if we didn't get to your question today, that means, A, you probably didn't tune into our live show on Monday, which you should every Monday around 5 p.m. Eastern time, and hit the dang sub button. We're trying to get to 42,000 subscribers here on the channel. Fastest growing Giants channel. Hit that sub button for your content every day. My guy, Mike G, what's up, brother? MG, hope you had a good holiday. I hope everybody had a good holiday season. If the Giants are at fifth overall, who do you want them to take? Quarterback, wide receiver, or O-line? Uh, that's a yes for me. I think it depends on who is on the board, right, when it comes to the fifth overall pick. Like, did Jane, is Jane Daniels on the board? Is he still there? Is a guy like uh, Joe Alt still on the board? Is Malik Neighbors the best player available? I would, I'm really starting to fall in love with the idea of drafting Joe Walt. Because for as long as I can remember, for, for 10 plus years, the Giants offensive line has been the hamstring of this team, the Achilles heel, rather, of this team. So you have to improve there. Um, I'm really leaning towards Joe Walt being my go to pick for Big Blue. I'd be cool with wide receiver. Jane Daniels there and Joe Walt is still there. That's a tough decision for me to make because I do believe that Jane Daniels is going to be good. And I believe the Giants need a new quarterback. It'll be a tough decision for Joe Shane to make. Razor Shockwave, what's up, family? Hey, Marsh, hope you had a good holiday. I hope you had a good holiday, man. So what do you think about getting Malik Neighbors at the first round and getting a guy like J.J. McCarthy in round two? My, and you know, this has been proven wrong multiple times by other leagues, other teams in this league, but for me, I'm of the mindset that if I don't love a quarterback enough to take them in round one, I don't necessarily want to draft him. Because you, why, you didn't believe in him in round one. And, and I heard Nick Wright say this a couple of years ago. And whatever you think of Nick Wright, that's totally fair. You know how some people say, like, man, J.J. McCarthy would be a reach at 10, but he'd be a steal in the second round. How does that make any sense? He's either, he's either good or he's not. Like, if he's bad at two, that if he's bad and you pick him in the second round, yes, the blow is a little bit worse. But it was still a bad pick. Like, I've never understood that. Oh, he's not good enough to go top 10, but a steal in the third round. Like, I've never understood that thought process. I'm of the opinion that if you don't love a quarterback, you don't take him. And if you take a quarterback in the second round, that means you didn't necessarily love him unless you're just playing the numbers game. I know J.J. McCarthy has a lot of believers in him. For me, uh, I want a blue chip. I want a guy that could be an MVP of the league. I don't know if J.J. McCarthy is that guy. I believe in Malik Neighbors. I think he's going to be a really good player. Giants need more playmakers, and that's exactly what he is. Mike G back again. I hope that made sense. The first round pick and third round pick. Maybe I was just talking out of my, my butt a little bit. Uh, Mike G, what's up? Says, do you buy into Brock Bowers being a good fit? I know Waller isn't young, but still playing him a lot. Uh, still paying him a lot. Is tight end weapon worth it over needs? Well, I would say that weapons is at the top of the top of needs for the New York football Giants. And I think Brock Bowers is one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon, outside of Marvin Harrison Jr. in this draft class. I'm not letting a 32, 33-year-old Darren Waller stop me from drafting the next best tight end in the NFL. Um, I probably wouldn't take him top five, but let's say the Giants somehow beat the Rams or the Giants somehow beat the Eagles and you fall out of the top five and Brock Bowers is the best playmaker on the board and Joe Alt's gone. Olu Fashanu's gone. The top three quarterbacks are gone. Yeah, I'd be totally fine with drafting a guy like Brock Bowers. Who do you want the Giants to draft? You guys always ask me, who do I want the Giants to draft? I like listening to you guys. I like reading your comments. I go down and read the comments of every video. So let me know, who do you want the Giants to draft? Give me a name down in the comment section. Ryan Brogan, what's up, family? Yo, at the hospital having my baby. Don't worry, she's not giving birth at the moment. We'll be here a couple days. Congrats and prayers for a healthy baby, my man. That is awesome. Still got to support the OGMG, but can you explain how we can get to the best pick? Um, you need to lose these next two games. You need to lose these next two games, and then somehow pray that the New England Patriots win their next two, and somehow pray that the Washington Commanders win their next two, and somehow pray that the Cardinals can win their next two games. I believe the Giants are going to end up picking number four in the NFL draft. I have the New England Patriots beating the New York Jets in that last game of the season. 
So I believe the Giants will then move up because they have a, the better strength of schedule. I think Giants are going to pick four, and I'm pretty confident that they will pick top five. ESPN says they have a 78% chance to get inside that top five. I am getting, picking fourth. Hopefully the Commanders uh, can beat the Cowboys or Eagles. Uh, is it the Cowboys, Eagles? They have two really tough games coming up. We're going to get to more questions coming up in a second, but first I'm asking all the real ones to help me out and support the sponsor that sponsors our show. That's big time for us, and it's Prize Picks. Prize Picks is my favorite sponsor we have because I love playing daily fantasy sports, and I love winning money off of my IQ when it comes to to football. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is select two or more players and you just use more or less on the stat line that Prize Picks has projected. Matthew Stafford and Jordan Love are the two players that I've decided to go with this Sunday. And I'm just going to go passing yards. QB's two man lineup. I'm going to go with more passing yards for Stafford versus the Giants and more passing yards for Love versus the Vikes. You can roll with my picks or fade my picks, but just do it at this link right here prizepicks.com slash CNS. And use that promo code CLNS. You're going to get a $100 deposit match. Nope. What up, fam? So what you taking, Marshall? Mike Kafka and Wink. Mike Kafka and a new DC. Wink and a new DC. New OC and DC. I don't think either will be back. I don't think either will be back. You can hear. I mean, Wink Martindale, um, I couldn't hear because obviously I called the play-by-play. But I went back and watched. Pam Oliver reported that Wink Martindale has been pel- telling the team, telling the defense, that not only do you have to outplay the opposing team's offense, you also have to outplay the opposing team's defense. That is a direct slap in the face to your offense. And let's call a spade a spade. Third and 20, game on the line. You allow Jalen Hurts to complete a 27-yard stop route to A.J. Brown. I think Wink's a good D.C. I don't think he's a great D.C. anymore. And I think the relationship between him and Brian Dable is fractured. And I think that you may see a guy like Leslie Frazier at that defensive coordinator position for the Giants. I think Mike Kafka's gone. Um, I hope he's gone at this point. I haven't said that, but I am now officially saying it. I'm over Mike Kafka. Three fourth down conversions yesterday. Just hand off up the middle to Saquon Barkley. Fourth fourth down conversion. You throw a shoot route to Wandale Robinson. I know you're crippled with the offensive line and the, and the quarterbacks. How about... The guy you hired to be the head coach that got this job because of what he did as the offensive coordinator, call the plays. Because all the good coaches in this league, they call plays. It's time for Brian Dable to do that. Mechanic didn't show up for work today, Brian. It's your time to go fix that oil. It's your time to go do it. Take ownership into your own hands. Because right now, your back's against the wall. Steven Lopez, what up? Why has Hodgins' playing time decreased so much this year? Great question. Great question. I'm a believer in Isaiah Hodgins. I don't think he's a one. I don't necessarily think he's a two. But I think he's a player that should be getting reps. And I think he's a good red zone wide receiver. I think he's proven that through his time with the Giants. Um, they've been playing Hyatt more. They've been playing Wandell Robinson more. They've been playing Slayton more. Giants don't run in a lot of offensive plays. They lead the league in three and outs. Not a lot of offensive plays means not a lot of snaps for other players. My best answer I can give you is this offense stinks, Steven. And they don't run a lot of plays. And I don't, I don't really know how else to sum it, sum it up. NYG season. What's up, brother? How about, what about Gabe Davis? Seems like a guy who's behind a door in Buffalo. Could they unlock his skill set? I'm not the biggest Gabe Davis fan. Um, I think he's a good player. I think he's Isaiah Hodgins. I think he's Isaiah Hodgins. Maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little bit better. Um, obviously, there's the relationship there with Brian Dable and Joe Shane. But no, I... I, I I think there's other spots and other ways you can improve this wide receiver position. Um, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass uh, on Gabe Davis. Rob Simpy, my man. What up, brother? Sadly, Marsh, I don't watch college football. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think college football is that good of a product. Built, no, we need. I wish I knew what that said. But no, we need another Q. Okay, but no, we need another QB. But is it a reach? Currently, but we still need depth at wide receiver and O-line help at the cornerback. What is your biggest need after QB? Offensive line. Offensive line. And I may even put the need for offensive line in front of quarterback. Um, I, I, under, I, all, I do believe that the better situation that you can have a rookie quarter and that this, this, isn't, this isn't a world-breaking take. The better team. And the better situation you can bring a rookie quarterback in, I believe it's going to height, heighten the, uh, 
the likelihood that they're good, right? Like if, but then on the other hand, you see a guy like Joe Burrow go to a terrible Cincinnati Bengals team, and in year two, they're in the Super Bowl. Um, if I had to rank the needs for this team, offensive line, quarterback, then you go down, playmakers, and then another edge rusher. That's for me. Um, look, if you love a quarterback and the guy you love is there at five or you want to trade up to two, I'm going to be happy they do it. If they go out and draft Olu Fashanu or they draft uh, Joe Alt, I'm going to love it. If they trade down and take Brock Bowers, I'm going to love it. Just get another good football player. This team's deprived of those guys right now. Saquon Barkley is him. He's him. He says, can we please trade for Justin Fields? We want to trade for Justin Fields. Uh, no. Look, I know some people are huge Justin Fields fans. I've never been a believer. And why do I want another team's trash? If the Bears are will, and you know, I don't trust the Bears front office, so maybe that's not the best example, but no, I don't want Justin Fields. And he'll be entering, is this his second or third year? So you would have to make a decision on his fifth year option this offseason. And he's probably going to want a new contract after year four. No. Reset the quarterback contract. Reset the quarterback contract. What does that mean? Take a new quarterback at the draft, and he's cost-controlled for five seasons. Because you are being crippled right now because of Daniel Jones and his contract. I'm out on trading for Justin Fields. Um, no thank you. No thank you. All righty. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash TV. Love doing these mailbags. If you want more of them, subscribe to the channel.